Hi and welcome to Steve's Kitchen. Now if you make a lot of cakes, if you're decorating cakes at home, chances are you're going to want to make your own fondant one day. And I'm going to show you how to turn these marshmallows into a wonderful soft marshmallow fondant. Now the first thing we want to do is melt our marshmallows down, but before they do that, I'm just taking a little vegetable shortening into a bowl just grating it in there. And then using your hands, just rub the vegetable shortening around the inside of the bowls. And this will make it a little easier when you're mixing the marshmallow after it's heated. Now I'm using a silicon spatula to mix my marshmallows. So I'm just coating that with the vegetable shortening as well whilst I've got it out. Now into this bowl, we're gonna put 500 grams, that's about a pound of white marshmallows. And three tablespoons of water. Two, three. We're just going to pop that in a microwave on high for two and a half minutes and after about a minute and a half I'm going to take it out and give it a little stir. So after a minute and a half I'm just giving those a little stir through, they're still fairly solid, back in for another minute. So after about two and a half minutes we've got this sort of molten marshmallow and I'm just going to pop this into a stand mixing bowl. So we're just putting our molten marshmallow into a stand mixer. So I've got two pounds of powdered sugar, or about a kilo of powdered sugar here, and I'm going to put half of that in with our molten marshmallow. It doesn't have to be sieved, this guys. We're just gonna put it straight in there. Then I'm gonna use a dough hook attachment on my mixer to start to mix that through. And when that's started to mix together, I'm just going to add the rest of the icing sugar into the mix. I'm gonna put the dough hook back down into the mixture and start to slowly mix that back in. So I'm mixing that at a nice slow speed, but I can feel that this is a little dry. So I'm going to add just a couple of tablespoons of warm water into this, just to help absorb some of the icing sugar. And then we'll just continue to mix. So you can see by just adding that tiny little bit of water in there, our dough is started to come together. It is let me just show you. It is thick, but it's not too sticky that we can still handle it. So you can adjust your fondant texture with just tiny bits of warm water or a little bit extra icing sugar, depending on how your fondant feels. So now our fondant is beautiful and sticky. It's got a lovely elastic texture to it. And if you get it out, roll it up together and start to pull it apart, it will stretch, but it will also break. It won't go on for too long. It'll break open like that. If it breaks too early, it's too dry, you might add to add a, a little bit of liquid into it. Then I'm just going to ease the fondant out of the bowl, and it may not want to come out at first. So with our fondant now out on the worktop, we can just start to knead it through. It shouldn't be too sticky, but it sticks to your hands. We can use a little vegetable shortening on our hands just to stop it, stop it from sticking. We're just going to knead it for five minutes or so, to get a lovely silky texture. Now I've got this wonderful marshmallow fondant. So I'm just going to take a little vegetable shortening, I'm rubbing it over my fondant here, and I'm just going to take some cling wrap out, and we just want to keep the air out of there so that it doesn't dry out at all, and we're just going to wrap it up. And there is my marshmallow fondant. I'm going to leave that on the side, I'll be doing a cake with this tomorrow. And if you want to store that for longer, pop it in an airtight container. It will last for quite some time. Now I should add, guys, that if you're adding color to your fondant and you want just one block color, then you can add that color in as you're mixing the fondant up early on. But I've made up some blue here for a side cake, which you'll see on my channel. And um, I had to mix several colors. So I add the coloring later on to the uh, fondant icing. And all you do there is take a gel coloring, a good strong gel coloring, and then start to work it in a drip at a time um, until you get the color, the desired color you want. And you can see this blue fondant I've got here. I've had this wrapped up for two or three days now and it's still beautifully soft and supple like plasticine. So it does last for quite some time when you store it. Thank you again for joining me today, guys. I also made some modeling chocolate today and I'll put a video up very shortly to show you how to make modeling chocolate. Actually, I made this little side doll for a cake that I was making. So if you wanna get across the channel and have a look at that, please do. Subscribe to the channel, stay in touch, be good. I'll see you next time.